Hey, what's up? Yo, uh, is this a bannable offense? There is a species amongst us. Some might call them a different name. Some might say they're a race, but many say they're not. Some might say it's a religious cult, you know, the satanic new world order, some call it. Yet, it is not. Is it just another race who you cannot speak of, or is it a species? Because why is it not on the race listing if it's a race? You know, some people say there's reptilian shape shift. There are reptilian shapeshifters amongst us. And I have seen some things. I the only thing I know is that I do not know nothing. That is that is factual. And I said, you know, they seem to control most of the media and the government. And they're behind the events of 2020. And it's an agenda of theirs. And they used 2020 to usher in a silence upon their actions in talking of them. Not that they weren't already doing that, but it escalated. And here is the kicker. I said, you know, uh, events of 2020. Here, here is the meat and potatoes of the importance of the thing. I said, uh, you know, the uh, 2020 agenda was shortly put in place after the Epstein talk. Everyone was on about Epstein, and then the 2020 agenda rolled out, and everything erased Epstein talk. And, you know, I said... uh they're obviously using those children as sex tools to blackmail world leaders. And I also said that they're the leaders of the BLM and the Nazi invasion of the Capitol. Now, I don't know who owns the media. I mean, I guess we all do, right? We all know Zuckerberg owns Facebook. Um, but to me, you know, if I were an investigator... If I were the government, uh, if I were a normal people, normal people ask all the time, what's going on? You know, they want to know, uh, you know, why is that happening? Like where I'm from in Columbus, Ohio, there isn't, I don't want to say there isn't racism, but you know, in Columbus, Ohio, we were one of the first stops in the Underground Railroad and in my travels, I've actually seen, you know, that 10% of black population we have there, that's actually like kind of large. Some of these other areas where the Antifa is really going all out, like they just got rid of some slavery laws a while back. And just simply driving through their town, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was kind of upset. Like I found this little black community to go hang out in. And, uh, cause you know, when I think of Black Lives Matter, I, I might go to an event or two, but, you know, I think I, I go out, I'll go to a park in a black neighborhood and hang out with black people, listen to some good music, you know, eat some good food, have a party. No, to me, that's showing the Black Lives Matter more than even, even though, you know, I'm, I'm probably you know, one of the few people who, who did go out there to, to celebrate the Black Lives Matter. Um, I feel, you know, that's more important. Uh, simply partaking, you know, unfortunately in Columbus, you know, the black community was like all was pushed out to the east. Again, maybe the racism already took place a long time ago when I was a child and I'm overlooking what gentrification is and maybe I'm the one who made the videos and brought to the surface the fact that this occurred and no one else really talks of it. It's just like it's so low-key there that just like 
it, you don't really even see it. Um, you know, I would have bought stuff in the black communities to support them as well. But uh, it's just not worth the money to travel all the way out east. And another thing, too, is it's a bit of a police state I've seen compared to other places. Less cameras everywhere, but more actual presence. And, you know, going out to the east, like, you're pretty much, you got a large portion of police out there. Again, that might conflict with some previous things I said. Um, but, you know, what is what is wrong about me wishing to to speak of, of that stuff and what I've seen, you know, what, what makes that so, so wrong that I've, I'm, I'm some crazy person who thinks there's an alien species amongst us. Uh, I mean, I'm just flat out crazy at this point, right? I believe that this world isn't real. I believe there's something else going on in this world around us. I believe the humans aren't the only species on earth. I believe that, you know, uh, events might be being set up in this world. And I, I guess, you know, maybe if Mark Zuckerberg is in on it, maybe that's what's so wrong about me talking about that stuff. Maybe that's what makes it so evil. Um, I mean, Mark Zuckerberg looks different, you know. But, uh, you know, uh, when I say there's an alien species out here at this point in time, I really do think there's a shape-shifting alien species to some sort. Uh, I mean, technology or... Or actual shapeshifters. I'm kind of like unsure of what this world is. But you know, I I, I tried so hard, like, to not get banned, to uh, you know, it word things in a way where I don't offend anyone. But apparently, you just you know talking about the new world order, pals. It's just not cool in these days and times. You know, I made a video yesterday I didn't upload about how, like how people should come together and be peaceful and not war amongst one another. But I just get reminded that, you know, I can't just make fire appear right here when I ask for it to appear. So... How am I in control of this world? And I must view everything around me as what it is and what I've seen it as. And I really, uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I really uh, worry about what what's happening, what's going down, and. What a technological control grid lockdown really means to this world. It means that who who will be able to make a video expressing a different opinion? Who will be able to say anything that other people don't like? I mean, because I wasn't far I wasn't far out of there. I was just asking why does it seem like you know some sort of alien reptilian, shapeshifter, whatever you want to call them, group, controls things, and, and the humans don't. And you know, like everyone's like, kind of like upset about this talk that when I use the word human, people get, you know, a little weird about that. And I understand that. But if I'm wrong, I'm just a crazy person, right? I mean, Really? Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm just a crazy person, you know. I, I'm insulting the human race. I'm like, ah, you guys are just humans. Forget about it. You know? Well, how does that upset people? Who who does that upset? I'm just this crazy guy. I believe the world isn't at all what it seems. I believe there's aliens here on the earth. People are like, people are like, we found the UFO. Let's go invade Area 51. I'm like, why don't you like... Go to where the aliens have already established bases and 
People are like, no, let's go to Area 51 instead. And like, okay, well, I'm just crazy, right? <laughs>